Phil Donahue was considered one of the best talk show hosts of all time and an icon in the genre today. He wasn't afraid to have a variety of different guests on the show and discuss pressing topics. It was entertaining, but also intelligent. So join Facts First to check out the craziest Phil Donahue interviews captured on camera. Doug Casey warned us. Doug Casey is known in financial, immigration, and libertarian circles and is known as the International Man. He teaches people how to move abroad, diversify assets, build wealth, and protect freedoms. But this, of course, is a rather niche interest and not one the American public is often exposed to. That changed November 3rd, 1980, when Doug Casey appeared on The Phil Donahue Show to a skeptical and often hostile audience. On that date, Doug told an audience of Americans things they weren't ready to hear. He warned them about increasing inflation and the dangers of the dollar being taken off the gold standard, which had happened almost a decade prior. He warned of economic collapse and social unrest and the decline of our great nation. He suggested Americans look to relocate abroad to emerging markets and also advised investing in precious metals like gold. When he stated he wasn't interested in voting in the election, many audience members took it to mean he didn't care about the country. Over 40 years later, some might scoff at the interview, but others feel he warned us and we didn't listen. Milton Friedman Returns to Donahue Economist Milton Friedman made his first appearance on Donahue in 1979, but it was his second interview that really stirred the pot. In the interview, Milton discussed the issues with inflation and about increasing government control. He and Phil debated each other, showing off differing political views. One of the most striking parts of the interview was when Phil Donahue critiqued capitalism and asked Milton if he's ever disturbed by the amount of greed he sees. Friedman gave a legendary but chilling answer. This particular segment of the interview has been watched over and over again on the internet. Friedman stated the achievements of civilization have come from pursuing their self-interests. He said it wasn't just the Soviet or Nazi governments who didn't reward virtue, but that the American presidents also didn't reward virtue. While this might not be shocking today, we must remember 40 years ago, it was still taboo to think of our country or our government as having the same evils as the dictators we consider our enemies. This remains one of Phil Donahue's most important interviews. Walter Williams sets the record straight. Walter Williams was another economist interviewed by Phil Donahue, and this was one of his early mainstream interviews. Williams warned about the economic crisis and creeping authoritarianism in the country. Much of the audience found it shocking and felt he was insulting the country rather than expressing concern. He also criticized the welfare system in the U.S. and talked about how this could create a sense of entitlement and could be abused in the future. This video is brought to you by Established Titles. Have you ever been interested in being a lord or a lady? With established titles, now you can become one. For real. You could officially change your name to lord or lady and get it on your credit card, plane tickets, etc. You can even get it on your dating profiles. You can purchase title packs that give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. With the purchase, you'll receive an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Established Titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our little facts first kingdom. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. It makes an amazing last-minute gift. Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code FV10, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash FV10 to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Ayn Rand Critiques Religion Phil Donahue interviewed philosopher Ayn Rand several times, owing to his interest in debating with libertarian-minded thinkers like Doug Casey, Milton Friedman, and Walter Williams. But Ayn Rand was perhaps the most shocking of them all. On a few occasions with Phil Donahue, she discussed how she didn't approve of religion and how she didn't believe in God and that no one could prove the existence of God. Naturally, this was an uncomfortable thing for many Americans to hear, and Phil had to silence some audience members so he could continue talking with Rand. But it wasn't just the fact that she professed atheism that caused furor. 
She criticized others' beliefs in God and discussed how religion required man to be irrational and was dangerous. Her negative view on the religion in the nation under God was naturally very shocking and perhaps still is today. While Ayn Rand is thought of as an important philosopher who has influenced and contributed to American intellectualism, another reflection on her views on religion and God have been called into question as a decline in religiosity is now the trend in America. Khalid Muhammad didn't hold back. Guests from all walks of life liked to speak on Phil Donahue's show because they knew their host would allow them to speak freely, even if he was disgusted by their views. Phil clearly had issues with one guest he had on in 1994 named Khalid Muhammad. Khalid was a minister in the Nation of Islam and not afraid to discuss his views on race relations in America. He openly praised a man who shot six innocent people on a commuter train, seeing it as a form of justice. He also made remarks that many considered hateful against particular ethnic groups. During this chilling interview, Phil Donahue allowed some of his guests to challenge what Khalid Muhammad said. Yet, even with all the challenges from the hosts and audience members, Khalid Muhammad refused to flinch. This interview is one of the best interviews of a political or ethnic leader in America, and it's one that has been revisited many times, particularly with new discussions of race relations in America. Farrakhan Speaks His Mind while the 1994 interview with Khalid Muhammad sent shockwaves across the country, there was another interview at the beginning of the decade that also tackled the uncomfortable discussion of race relations in America. Phil Donahue interviewed Minister Louis Farrakhan to ask his opinion about race relations. The audience hemmed and hawed as the minister was giving his opinion on race relations. There were differing opinions and it seemed they couldn't find common ground. This is another of Donahue's most famous interviews and one that's had a huge resurgence in the light of recent discussions on race relations. Some see this interview as an important discussion, while others feel this interview only ignited flames even more. Trump and Donahue while it was just another Phil Donahue episode when it was released, the interview with Donald Trump gained popularity when he became president, and now is likely one of the more popular interviews Donahue ever gave. In the interview, Donald Trump, then far away from politics and at the height of his fame, around 1987, discussed his real estate career as well as some of the issues facing renters in New York. Donahue challenged Trump on a lawsuit he was facing and discussed how Trump was unwilling to take welfare cases who want to rent in his building. Trump held his ground and answered questions. He wasn't explicit, but even hinted at a potential political career. He stated he wasn't running for office, but perhaps he had it in his mind that he one day would. He spent much of the interview discussing issues that he thought hurt New Yorkers, like rent control. And while he was a successful businessman at the time, one could see he also had concerns about the country and saw issues he thought would spiral out of control. Political analysts, supporters, and detractors alike watched this interview of Trump with Phil Donahue to see how the former president expressed his knowledge on the issues facing ordinary Americans. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you binge watch Phil Donahue's talk show back in the day? Do you remember seeing any of these episodes? Let us know in the comments section below.